Hello everybody. We're Thursday. Sun's come out again, so it's all very lovely. Now, where were we? We were doing the new sort of look of wittering. Um, five patch designs. Or yeah. And I did explain the other day. So we're talking um, blocks that are split up to five squares across, five squares down, so 25 in total. It allows you far more um, movement for your design, yeah? Um, and they become quite quite a bit more intricate, some of them. Um, I've picked a couple of um, easiest ones to start because I figure let's, let's get going somewhere. Excuse me. Oh, dear. That was the coffee. Um, so that was my first block. I was going to do mine bigger and then I've decided, oh, I'm just going to keep them small. It's easy. If you want to do yours bigger, do yours bigger. All good. All right. Um, the pattern for that particular one is over on um, Facebook in the Patchwork Witterings group. All right. Please do feel free to join that group um and then help yourself to any instruction that you might need to make any blocks you fancy all right um i can see this one being made quite big and repeated and looking very lovely um and part of the challenge was to use fabrics that you didn't particularly love all right so there we go that was mine it's not that i don't love the, the fabrics it's the color for me that was a very strange combination but there we are right so i have done my homework this morning um, and I quite often say, do as I say, not as I do. Because <laughs> I had a bit of a moment with me cutting this morning. Got it a bit wrong. You'll see in a minute. Um, so I've used some of the fabrics that I had yesterday, or the day before. And um, I've joined in another thing that's totally out of my um, comfort zone. Um, a piece from a panel. Now, I don't generally buy panels. They're not my thing. And my other thing is, I don't particularly love, and I, and I don't quite know why, I don't like writing on fabric, as in printed words and things. I'm a bit strange. I think it's probably because I'm an embroiderer, and therefore I would want to embroider that normally, or, you know, or draw it for myself. Um, but that's me being odd again, as normal. But what I did is I have got a panel that I now, I think I might have bought it, but it could well have been a present as well because it's got um, nice little sayings on it or quotes or just thoughts, which, which I quite like with a few simplistic flowers and things on. And so the, the block we're doing today is called Souvenir. Now, I thought that was quite appropriate. A souvenir of not such nice times, but we can make a jolly out of it, can't we? Yeah, I like this idea. So here he is there. I don't know if you can see that quite clearly. You'll see the block in a sec. You've got a big empty space in the middle. So that's a six by six inch, as far as I'm concerned, because anyway, that's the size I'm doing. Six by six inch square there, and then two inch squares and triangles all the way around to frame it in like a star. So there we go. Depending where you put your fabrics, you can get all sorts of nice um, definition going on. And it really does frame the piece of fabric that you've got in the centre. As you can see, I think that says be your own kind of beautiful um be unique be lovely i like this a lot so um that's what i've used but i got a bit enthusiastic with me chopping so take your time all right measure twice cut once don't get it quarter of an inch off like i did which means of has disappeared to o which you can get away with it but the l's a little bit dubious on the end there but you can see, I know what I, how I did it. I was trying to get as much of the flowers in over this side because I like the flowers. <laughs> but there we are. So <clears throat> what I've done on this one, I've got my centre square that I want to make prominent. Um, I've used the dark again, um, batik, to draw your attention to it, hopefully, and make that frame. You've got three squares here that actually came out of that same piece um, on the panel. And as I say, I'm sure that's how come I messed up what I was doing because I was too busy trying to get these out and enjoy myself. Um, and then I've, I've done the rest of them from the um, lovely Tilda fabric. Now, you may remember if you watched the previous, when I was doing this one, I cut different triangles instead of the green. And I, and I was sat here 
doing this with them because I wasn't overly happy with that fact. They're all in that one now. So it's those ones there. So that was good, wasn't it? So I didn't have to cut half of that. Ah, so that was quite a nice jolly after I realised I'd unjollied over there. But there we go. Design development. It is what it is, isn't it? But this particular block, <clears throat> I could see that repeated quite a lot to make really, really nice quilt top. Um, could you imagine if you put like charm packs in there or if you've got a layer cake or something? You could have that fabulous, fab, bleh, fabulous piece of fabric in the centre there and then frame it all individually. How cool would that be? I'm sure I've seen them out there before now. Very similar, um, if not the same block. You know, it's just, it happens that this particular block I've never made before. Um, so I think that would be quite nice. Or if you've got like a wall hanging going on or you've, you've maybe an embroidery or something even or a bit of red work. That as the around surround, how lovely. I like this idea a lot. Um, I'm thinking I might have a little word with my little mate, um, Andy, and see if he'll do me up a set of squares, triangles and odd shapes that we, that we could use within these blocks. How cool will that be? I'm going to have a little word with him. Um, and see so I say templates they're the acrylic templates that I have made from Andy at Crafty UK he's good as gold he might have something like that set up already but I'm going to ask him now this leads me on to another funny that happened this morning I've been sat here whispering and whispering and whispering not that you're aware of this until now um, and I've got right the way through everything I wanted to tell you plus a few happenings as it happened you know um, and I'm literally just about to say, be lovely, goodbye, as I do. And Andy phone, and it blanked my screen, because <laughs> I use my phone doing this. This is my technology, is my phone. Um, and that was the end of that winter. So I had to totally delete that one. And I've started all over again. Um, so that was Andy at Crafty UK, who's the template maker person. You'll see him on her channel quite a lot. Bless him. Um, but he was ringing to say that I've got more Dresden plate templates on the way. Um, we did Dresden plate last week that um, I, I, he makes for me a lovely little petal or a segment or a cheese or whatever you want to call it um, that will make a Dresden plate fit spot into very, very comfortably a 12 inch square block. It takes 16 little petals and I've had them on a special offer with you all um, and I'd run out so I needed some more um, and they're on the way to me apparently that's what he was just ringing to tell me so if anybody's waiting for your Dresden plate everybody's orders have gone out bar one lady that came in this morning well Andy's going to post that to you directly okay so that I know it's on its way um, and then when mine turn up back here which hopefully will be tomorrow um, any more orders anybody wants we've got loads of them in stock again and I'll be back to posting that to you. And they're still on the special offer, so you'll find them over on my um, online shop. That's the word. <laughs> over at abbeyand.com. All right, so that's the Dresden um, plate. Um, and the interruption from Andy. Morning, Andy. Thank you, darling. <laughs> right, so, yeah, so that's that. Um, so I'm thinking, I'm wondering, as, as we do a few of these blocks, I'm going to look and see, because, look, you've got... A large one there and you've got little ones and you've got squares and you've got these strange things coming up and I'm going to have a little look forward and see what other um, templates we might be using and I because a lot of these will repeat in all of the blocks and because of the size of them I reckon they're going to be really handy so I'm going to ask him nicely how much and, and can we make up a little set of templates just for five patch at two inch square let me know your thoughts on that one folks i quite like that idea it make my life much easier and hopefully make yours easier and then they'll they'll work right across all the different squares that i'm hoping that we'll put um right anyway so back to that one that one i'm going to put the instructions and the photo of it over on um facebook patchwork witcherings for you all right so feel free and photos please of anything you're doing and making that's lovely okay what else have we got to say while we're in, we're in template mode, I, I got these out to show you before Andy um, phoned, bless him. Um, I have a whole range, I don't know if anybody's aware of this, of um, 
templates that I sell myself um, that are of my own design. Okay, so not your standard standard, but things like, I don't know if you can see the daisy runner there. Um, so I have a thing about daisies, as you probably suss by now, but he makes, look, and they go from that size to that size and even smaller. Um, all my daisies, because I love my daisies. There we are. And they are a little bit different to everybody else's because mine are not, is it symmetrical? Mine are all a bit weird. Um, they are as I would draw them, okay? So you get a double usage from them really because you've got them that way. And then if you turn him that way and turn him round, you're never gonna know it's the same daisy. It's a bit good, isn't it? So although I use these in a lot of my designs like that one behind, and you can buy the patterns, and obviously the patterns will have the days you're drawn on. Um, if you wanted to do your own, there are loads. And then the other thing um, that I have, I've not put all of them out here, but some of them, just so as you can see a couple of them. Um, I have a range of, um, I want to say little animals type things, but they're insects, aren't they? Look, there's me ladybug. And then leaves, there's my oak leaves with the um, acorns and things in, and daffodils, there's all sorts of things, and bees, I've got a bee, I have to have a bee, because it's Abby, isn't it? But there we are. Um, and they're all, all for sale over on my um, online shop, do you know the brain's just gone, it's, it's been a very strange morning this morning. Um, so they're all there, and if you fancy any of them, give me a shout, order them on there. I'll pack them all up and send them out to you. Um, they are different. You will not get those ones anywhere else because they are of my own design. And poppies. There's loads of poppy type stuff because I love poppies. And they're the ones that have been on her chanda. Um, and you can get them via her chanda or but via me is, is probably easier. Um, and dare I say possibly a little bit cheaper at the minute. So um, they all come boxed up with patterns, the poppies do. Or you can buy them individually just as. A lot of my templates are different, as I say, because I will go to intricacies on them. All right, so weird and wonderful bits. Um, the daisies themselves, as you can see, they're, they're really very pointed and very sharp. So they're, they're actually of a different ilk to your normal template that you will get, even your design shape templates. They're not being simplistic. A new word, a simplistic. <laughs> I like that. Um, simplified um they've been drawn as i would use them and as i would want them and if that means they have to have detail in then they have to have detail in the thing is you have to be very careful with the templates that you don't um, get over enthusiastic with them okay so they're all for sale over on my um online shop at abbyann.com and if there's any that you want me to actually design for you well then i'm quite happy to do that as well and then i can have a little word with andy and we can get them made up for you so if you're absolutely dying to I don't know, I need a sparrow. I'm quite happy to design you a sparrow. It's not a problem. We'll get him to make a template or I can just do you a paper pattern. But I do do a design service. So if there's anything you want, um, please do just shout, you know? I, I'm quite happy to do this. Now, right, I'm carrying on here, wittering. I just need to, to put a real quick thank you out there. And thank you, darling. Um, card here yesterday, absolutely fabulous. Pussycats taking over the conservatory. Um, I think this is, is because of Tom and the fact that I have three pussycats in conservatory in here. Um, but within that, far, far more exciting fabric. Oh, I, need, I don't know if you can see that. It's got little black pussycats all over. It's got little black Thomases, who's under the table in his bed, by the way. He's been out all night, I think, again. Um, and that's just fabulous. Thank you. Um, totally unexpected and very very much appreciated do you know what it made my day yesterday um i know because i sit on witter thank you i hope you carry on enjoying and i and more to the point i hope you're all very well over there so there we are that's that now other little thing i do need to say um witter quilt top three i can hear tom crying over there hello tom oh hello darling have you been out i got it wrong it wasn't under the table he's just come in um I was I was putting on extra bits on this on this number three wasn't I and just to prove I've done it well there we are there's the extra heart coming down here um, from the one block and that was that was for Jane 
and Amy and Anne and everybody else up there. Hello, there we are. So I just needed to prove that I had done it. Ah, oh, this is all wonderful, isn't it? What are we going to do today now? I'm off to the post office. That's going to be my exercise to get to, to get all your orders out to you. Um, and then what? Then I'm probably doing a little bit of shopping. And then I have to go on sewing machine dropping off some picking ups locally. Thank you, folks. Um, they've all been serviced. They need to be returned. And I think I've got a bit of picture framing to pick up as well. So actually quite a busy day for me. Um, yeah, lovely. So be well. Do your exercises. Say hello to everybody. Make sure everybody's well and happy. Um... Um, um, and be lovely and tidy. No, I'm not into tidy. I did some ironing today, though. That's about as much as I intend doing as well. <sighs> there we go. Oh, and the other thing I need to warn you about, because you might get to have hysterics in the next couple of days at me, and that's perfectly all right, and I really don't mind. I've been, pl I've been sort of pushing Paul quietly. I've been making do with this awfulness, all right? And admittedly, there's loads of grey that wouldn't normally be there, because I actually... Um, most people know I bleach and colour my own hair and I've got no problem doing that and I, I have it all indoors to do but I was hanging out until last Sunday to see did Boris what was he going to do and could I go and have my hair cut I can't can I and it's got to carry on hasn't it till at least July at least I would think July it's not going to be June is it that he's going to allow people to, to cut anyway it's a while off and I'm like I can't live with this any longer so this week I've been quietly working on Paul and his clippers um, and, and I'm just getting him to pluck up the courage nicely because then I'm going to get him to clip her up the back and then I'm going to play around with a pair of scissors with the rest of it because I, I can't live with it. Look, look at this. I can't see what's going on. Ridiculous. So once he's done that and I've had a little chop and a play, I can, I can bleach and colour it all again and that'll be really good. So if you suddenly see me with a very strange hairdo that's probably not very good, you'll know why. Um, and my thoughts on this is that, do you know what? We've got a few weeks, it's going to grow again, isn't it? Mind you, if it all sort of goes wrong, I could land up with a number one or a number two all over, couldn't I? That would, that, Sinead O'Connor and me, that was just possibly not a good thing. But I could go purple or green. Or even orange. Or maybe just back to my normal pink sweets. Um, so anyway, that's all fun to look after, uh, look forward to. Um... I can't wait to see what happens. Do it yourself hairdressing. And I apologise to all the hairdressers out there now for what I'm about to do, which is probably sacrilege. Um, but Kevin, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, he's my hairdresser. Um, at some point in the future, I'll, I'll let you sort it all back out again. Ah, there we go. Have a happy day, everybody. Be lovely.